Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Hey to all my subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. My visitors, welcome. I invite both subscribers and videos and videos. <laughs> Should I do this video over? Mm, no, I'm going to keep going. So I invite both my subscribers and visitors to check out my videos in my playlist and my playlist as well. In my playlist, you will find a variety of things that I've covered. They're videos that are categorized by topics, and I think you will enjoy that. You can binge watch, and it will definitely give you a pretty good idea of what this channel is all about. So guys, I'm going to get right into this word because there has been some, let's just call them hiccups, in me getting around to getting this done. And the Lord had, does use me in the air of the prophetic. This is not something that I thought I would ever be doing. When the Lord first had me begin this channel, I thought it would be just to encourage my brothers and sisters in the Lord. And then I found that I was moving more in this area. I feel like this is where I'm at right now. It's definitely not something that I prayed for or asked for, but yet I find here I am. So with that being said, there's a lot of times that I dream I dream a lot like there I would say I probably dream every night even when I take a nap I dream it has increased significantly and so if I wake up and I go back to sleep I'll dream again like just vivid dreams seeing things very clearly and I used to be bothered by it and I asked the Lord about it and like Lord what is this all about why am I dreaming so much is something going on what's going is something coming in my life it's something wrong what is happening and um the lord let me know that with dreams you know when god speaks to you through dreams he's going to warn you about some things he's showing you things that's to come he shows you things that's going on around you and um not just dreaming and seeing something and going oh, okay well i guess i need to wait for it but learning how to counter anything that's demonic anything that people is planning because i get that a lot as far as things that people are plotting and planning, I see it clearly and I'll even see the person. And so then I know how to, I've learned how to pray and how to <laughs> safeguard, you know, myself, my household, all of that. And, um, but another thing the Lord has been showing me as I've been dreaming is that he's showing me what is happening in the world he showed me things that are going in other people's lives and now he wants me to now prophesy specifically to people to whom the situation applies remember not all prophecy is for everyone okay always double check with the lord never just accept everything and if it's not you, I always encourage you to pray for those that it applies to. And if you can, if you are having something similar going on, while all the, the variables around the situation may not be just like yours, pray and ask the Lord to deliver you. Because guess what? It's not by, it's not by chance that you see this, right? So God is not a person that's just going to, oh, this is just for this person. If you are watching this video, and even though it may not apply to you, all variables of it does not apply, then my brothers and sisters, hold on to that and seek God and receive that deliverance in the name of Jesus. So now let me get right into this word. There is a young woman. You have a mother who is promiscuous. Your mother is a type of person. She's done this throughout your teenage years and growing up whenever you have an interest and there's someone that's interested in you your mother likes to compete against you in the area of gentlemen callers let's call it that so i see at least two people in your life one is your husband i don't know if this person's still your husband or not in which your mother really tries to 
advance on them and come onto them. And when you get upset, she makes fun of you. She laughs at you. She calls you. She said that you're being insecure. She plays it off like she's joking around and you're taking things too seriously. I see you being in a state of being very, very, very upset. And you feel you feel alone because she's coming onto you. And I see at least one of them that's kind of playing along with her. Maybe someone that you were with before was flirting back with her. And both of them were treating you as if you're crazy and as if you're taking things too seriously and oh this is just this is your mom are you serious are you jealous of your mother when in fact your mother have a seducing spirit on her and she likes to she her goal and her aim is to go after and to um to destroy any relationship you have but i think you're married i see that i see a husband and your husband may not necessarily be playing along with her, but she is doing things. She's flirtatious. And you are to the point where you feel like you're just losing it. And you don't feel like you have any support. You don't feel like you're getting the support you need, maybe even from your partner. And your mother is just laughing and taking light of it while increasingly flirting. And this is something that she's done throughout your life. Um, you are in a place of you're trying to get away from her. You're trying to get away from the situation. But it seems like it's hard for you to get things together in order to do it. I see you almost trying to pack. And it's like you can't find the things you need to pack to go. And it's because the spirit that is on your mother is making it very difficult. It's like a toxic relationship. She doesn't want you to leave. She guilts you. You stay. You're troubled. Um, but God is saying separate yourself. Separate yourself. It's not about trying to get everything you need. Pack what you can. Get what you can. But whatever you can't, God says go. You're in a position to leave, to go. You're in a, you're in a position where you can make some decisions, but because of the title that she has as mother, you're confused and she often guilts you, but most of it is ridiculing you and making you feel bad. Stop letting her come into your house. Stop letting her come into your space. Stop taking your partner down to your mother's house. Stop stop taking the invites to, stop um, RSVPing, stop going into the places where she invites you. I see sometimes it could be maybe some get togethers or family get togethers or things when you go over there and she begins to play the game. And it's almost like she tries to pit your partner against you. So God has given you the resources. And to those of you that may be in you're, this is similar to your situation and right now you feel like you don't have the resources, God is going to open up a door of opportunity for you to leave, for you to go. There's even some of you, your partner is engaging with your mother, okay, in flirting and talking down to you and not supporting you or protecting you. And God is saying it's time to move ahead. It's time to move on and not stay in this level of, of a toxic cycle. You know, we're in days where people, all they're thinking about is being a husband, being a wife, and there's this person that is absolutely driving you batty. They're doing a lot of disrespectful things, and you're not realizing that you first belong to the Lord. You first belong to the Lord. You know, in heaven, there is no husband and wife. You will not, there will be no marriage, and you will not be given in marriage. So we go back to our normal, our when we're spirit, I guess, there's no need of this. But God does not want you to be here tormented because I see you being tormented in this relationship. So again, this word is for a mother, a woman who has a mother who flirts and is very promiscuous towards your partner. I see it being your husband. 
and then she's even done it in the past coming up with you know a, someone that likes you she will come in and do things to mess that up and to try to shift the attention to herself you need to learn how to pray you need to learn how to seek god you need to learn how to stand up not going against her like to fight her and to be disrespectful but remove yourself from that situation in that space this is a word of the Lord today for this young lady. Guys, pray for this individual. And for those that applies to, take heed and follow the instructions of the Lord regarding this matter. All right? Peace out.